Welcome back, everyone. Hi. Hey. Uh, it's been another week. Or it's been two weeks. I think it's only been one. Oh, no, it wasn't. Arcus. What happened last? Is it? Is it secret? What happened last week? It's been, It's sure. It is secret. It can be. Uh, <laughs> does that mean you don't I, mean, I want to know what happened last well, now week. Now I want to know, yeah. Was... What happened we last week? It's been, it was classified. Oh, okay. Well, okay, if that to. means it's secret, then you say yes, not not make it hinted. Well, because that made me curious. Well, sure. Well, you want to be a mystery that does well with girls. I mean, right? Shit does well with girls. Yeah, you're a mysterious guy. Maybe you're not. you're at an age, Arcus, where they're now women. Wait, I can't call them girls anymore because they're women. No, I think girl insinuates a younger. Younger age, don't you think? Agreed. Well, maybe. Well, when we when they pull like, young people in my country, they they do like up to the age of thirty four. They call pe those people young people. So, really? Sure. You just making this crap up? No. It's, I mean, what well, it's. Those, like, so people like, will, 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 will call you a kid until your third until your late thirties. Not a kid. Well, what did they? Do you have like a middle-aged youngster? Young adult. Wait, thirty-four is young adult. Up to thirty-four. Is young your adult. numbers different? Well, it depends. <laughs> well, it is depends. there a number translation too? Wait. Well, well I mean, I mean like. I'm 27. Like, I'm another young adult. No, you're just an adult. What is a young adult, then? Young adult here is, um, like 16 to 18, I think. Oh, you're a teenager, dog. Yeah, also that. But not a young adult. You no, yeah, you're both. Yet, even. No way. Maybe, maybe as far as 21. But, but you're trying to tell me when you're 18, you're not an adult? Um, I would say. Let's see what Google has to say on the matter. According to your authorities. Oh. Yeah. Google, though. It depends sort of per, per country, per culture. And also based on the language, right? Is, uh... So Google says it is someone from 18 until their early 20s. It doesn't give an exact number on the early 20s part there. So, but after 25, that's late 20s, right? So maybe you're still young. I mean, when when is a person middle aged? Maybe even America is different because maybe you guys have like a lower <laughs> kind of a lower life expectancy. I have no idea. I mean, I feel like, you know, when they're like midlife crisis, to me, that means the middle of your life. So I did mine when I was 15. Uh, that's not the middle of your life. <laughs> uh, I, that was yeah. a joke. Um, no, I mean, I feel like I'm past midlife at this point, though. Are you 40 yet? Yeah, I'm 40 now. This is, I'm 40 to, to this year. I know, right? It's rough. It's hard on me, too, Marcus. Well, I mean, there's benefits. I mean, I should get yeah, like senior, senior coffee senior before too long, right? Yeah, but it's good stuff to look forward to. Life is yeah, forward. if I make it to 55, I can get um, a lifetime passes at all the national parks. Yeah. Yeah. I love parks. I also love national parks. I'd say like early thirties is, uh, is sort of stretching it for your middle, but like it's not definitely not middle aged. I, I, I yeah, I guess. Um, I was I think I was working on some stuff over here. Do you guys remember what you were doing? Uh huh. I was working on circuits, I believe. Oh, the the high speed connector circuits. No, just making circuit boards over here. Oh, gotcha. With the plastic. Trying to get my corpse. And then I was going to send the circuit boards 
U.S. life expectancy is 79, and Netherlands is 83. Oh, that that must be it. Yeah, yeah, those four years, that's <laughs> all the difference. Um, oh. No, but, like, someone, like, someone was, like, 24 or something. Even then, I wouldn't call that person a full-fledged adult, I think. No way. I disagree. But Even adults, sure, but not not full fledged. Like their brain is like, like people's brains aren't fully formed until like what twenty seven or twenty five? I think it's twenty seven, or twenty five. Maybe twenty five. I don't know about that either. I'm also gonna consult um, Google. That's 25. Uh, You're correct. I'm correct? Yeah, it's 25. Yeah, I, I just know that. Like, maybe I'm also basing this on my own. Like, I felt really... Like, if I look back at my early 20s, I, I've, <laughs> I feel stupid. <laughs> maybe I'm just also like... Oh, I did some... Uh, yeah. <laughs> what the... I would say that, like, you were, like, middle-aged. Like, well, you're in the middle of it. You don't think I'm middle aged? I, I think, well, I think you are. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. yeah. I think 40s middle aged, right? Yeah. Between, like, 35 and. Like, there's a good chance 65. I've lived longer than I will live from this day forward. Well, uh, listen. Hold your hands, buddy. You can do it. You can make it good. I'd like to. I probably need some lifestyle changes, honestly, to extend my life. You think the pool will help, or the pool will help, honestly. That was a uh... if you, like if we just float around and drink margaritas. Not saying that eat, but that's what I would do at least. Like, <laughs> like floaty. That, that would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't. That probably. I mean, there, there's. I mean, that. That's not all negative, though, right? That's like, you know, you're getting some good mental mental help that way right <laughs> it's got to be good for your mental stability i think to float like, around and drink margaritas will help with that though i'm not entirely sure i mean i think that the margarita may counteract the other benefits on like your liver and that sort of thing yeah maybe I mean, this is wishful thinking probably right but uh i'm getting more exercise now because of the pool than i was but um, I was I was out. about to rejoin the gym, but now that mask mandates and everything, you come back. I don't think I will. Mm. I don't think you're coming to the marathon this year either. Oh wow! Have I been? Uh, just because I don't come out of the pockets anymore, that's all it takes. Yeah, yeah. Honestly. Got kicked out, guys. Kicked out of Minecraft. This is drama. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean the way things are going, I I was pretty confident when we started booking plans and preserving times and all this that you were definitely going to be here but now uh the way stuff's going i have a feeling it's not going to happen well instead of a plane ticket i'll take a cash voucher that's uh i can do that <laughs> <laughs> uh someone okay, says they may have uh, a loophole for you to come to the marathon was it come to canada first um God, maybe huh That'd awesome. be interesting. <laughs> I, I know that border is right now, right? The Canada, the US border is 60, 70. However, yeah, it is. I might still get stopped at that. Like, they might not allow transfer like, like, they might. I feel like US customer border patrol is probably aware of people's as well. So, um, so you're saying if you're a citizen of your country, they still wouldn't let you in? Yeah, because they can literally see like, oh, you're, you're like in Canada on a tourist visa. Now you're trying to go for, go through Canada to the U.S. Like, you might be on to that, you know? <laughs> Maybe. Probably. Um. So what is the what is your requirements now? You just fucking can't. Whoa. Wow. Yep. Sorry, forgot. 
Uh, you just can't. You just can't come to America at all. Um. Well, you want to marry? Okay. So that's yeah, the only way. Okay. Um. That or um. Well, here's the thing. I am like 10% Polish, and like you are. So maybe we can like find like maybe like we're cousins. Maybe that could be you walk around, but like either way, it's gonna require some fuckery. Um, did you just? Is that a clot? Oh. You know what? One for one. See, <laughs> we are related. Uh, that'd be cool if we were related. Maybe. And maybe it would be cool. <laughs> I'd, have to, I'd have to think about it. <laughs> Fine. Um, yeah, basically, yeah. It depends. Um, in my country, we're kind of done with it. Um, COVID? I think, so, unless something crazy happens, um, basically, our country only kind of has a mandate where, like, um, where, like, our government is like, we will only do restrictions um, based on the hospital capacity. It's sort of the, um, mm. the plan. That was sort of the plan. It might be different now, actually, but... Um, as long as the hospitals can take it, like, um, they plan to just let everything go by November. Gotcha. Like, Our hospitals are, like, where I live, they they literally, you, you can't come to the hospital. Yeah. But, They're overflowing. <laughs> but my freedom. Yeah, it's a bit sad. But... Like, I was reading about a woman, she died of a stroke in the waiting room because they just couldn't get to her in time there was a boy there whose arm had been shattered and he sat in the lobby for six hours with a shattered arm he was like a five-year-old or something like that so his five-year-old just sitting there screaming for six hours with a shattered arm um and then like the halls are completely full with beds there's no rooms damn yeah it's kind of a mess yeah. Um, how you doing, Packrat? How mm -hmm. you doing with this light in this light entertainment broadcast that we're making? <laughs> um, I'm in a deep, dark cave, surrounded by giant spiders trying to kill me. I remember um, before we ended last, like two weeks ago, last session. Uh, I think you were begging me to come with you to hold your hand to get your stuff again. This he is was. a nasty one. So, you know, if, if you want, if you're bored. I'm not bored. I got stuff to do. Okay. Just get, get a rifle and lots of ammunition and. Um, are there elections in the Netherlands here or. No. There aren't. We had them? Okay, we're messing around. Get me in here. Okay. Um, like are you Wait, go ahead. are you able to make an assembler currently? I need to know what the rate of circuit board is, like how many of plastic and how many of the other thing it needs. Are you doing a normal recipe with copper? Uh, yeah, copper sheets. Uh, fifteen copper sheet per minute and thirty plastic per minute makes seven and a half circuit board per minute. Plastic and 15 copper sheets. So that's a um, that's a two to four to one ratio. So I'm making 120 copper sheets a minute currently. Okay. We'll divide that by two, and that's the amount of circuit boards you can make with that. About about 15. That's eight assemblers worth. And then 30 times eight is 240 plastic. This makes 20 a minute. 20, 40. What two metals form brass and bronze? 40, 60, 80. Brass is copper. 100, 120, 140, 160, 180.
You can be my stepdad, dude. You're old enough. Uh. I mean, I could be your age and be your stepdad. Kind of weird, but yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I won't eight, call nine, you. Uh, 10, 11, 12. I won't call you dad, but I'll just call you Mr. Boulderfist. Is that okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. And when anyone asks, I'll be like, oh, his mom's really into fisting. Hey, you know what? Peckrat, you can be my stepdad. <laughs> We're moving on. <laughs> I think I was making um, the. Uh, I think I was trying to figure out. Yeah, heavy encased frame or heavy monkey frame. I think I need to test it for something. Did you? I think, yeah. You're doing an 18-hour marathon today, huh? Yep. What, oh uh... It's ambitious. It's super ambitious. You're going to cook something at some point, right? Right after this one. What are you making? Beef Wellington. Oh! oh! And, my God, I am so broke. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, did you get, uh... Did you get, like, the duck pate and stuff, too? No, I'm, I, um, I'm doing a Gordo Ramsay recipe. Um... Okay. I thought it included mustard. Uh, no. Um, oh wait, yeah, it does not include Dijon mustard. You're right. Yeah, I thought it did, but this one is from BBCGoodFood.com. So okay. It's British. It's endorsed by the government, and it's written by Gordon Ramsay. So I feel like, but you know what? You can have many variations of it. So it's probably sure. Um, yeah, I got a six. 580 gram, 600 gram piece of meat. Uh huh. I think typically you use like a kilo, but um, I, I have a small toaster oven. Remember. Oh, you're making it in the toaster oven. Okay. It's okay. gonna be so. Gonna be rough. Okay. Um, but yeah, like that piece of meat was probably 600 grams, roughly. About $50 um, for beef. It's that's very really expensive. It's like 10 times expensive like some minced meat. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm making that uh, with a red wine sauce, mm -hmm. um, and mashed potato, uh, Brussels sprouts, and with an apple crumble dessert with ice cream. Sounds and good. The, the apple, so, yeah, and I think, because I, you have to like manage your emotions, right? Um, like the apple crumble dessert with ice cream, you can't mess up. Yeah. That's yeah. either like a really nice dessert. Or really nice comfy food after I feel miserably. Um, but I feel like that's really smart to plan out ahead, you know? Like, prepare food for us. So, for some reason, when I try to place something now, it just opens the builder menu. Like, I've hit Q. Whenever I right click, it opens that. But it only does it when I'm trying to build a foundation. Why Probably would that be? Your, um... No, I was sitting here building foundations, and all of a sudden... Why are you pressing right-click to place down foundations? Maybe... Because right-click maybe... is open to the builder menu. For any... Yeah. Any yeah. I guess I was left-clicking, I just forgot. Um, alright, so your beef wellington, you don't put mustard on it, you don't put pate on it. Um... What? It's, uh, um... Chestnut mushrooms? Are you making the... Or whatever it's called with the mushrooms, mushrooms, uh, white wine, all their things, <laughs> shallots probably. Um, no shallots. The shallots are in the wine sauce. There's no shallots in the delete. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. It's like 
D U L. I think I think what you're trying to call is a stroke. Uh, <laughs> no, it's called. God, what is it called? Dele. <laughs> it's. Dele. <laughs> Dele. Dele. <laughs> What is it called? Um, I think it's called. Is it? Is it? I can't remember what it's called, honestly. D d it's D U X E L L E S. D U X? Oh, that's a cop. No, uh oh. It's D U X E L L E S. Oh, be jealous? Yeah, it's a preparation of mushrooms sautéed with shallots, garlic, and parsley, and it's typically used in beef Wellington. That's why I asked if you if it's if you're making it if you're making it. The typical oh. beef Wellington is puff pastry. Yeah. <laughs> That's not what it's called, but D U X E De Dex Dezel Dezel. Oh God! What is this? <laughs> that um, and then you have the uh, the meat and it's like slathered in uh, pate. Oh wait, no, I forgot the prosciutto. Puff pastry prosciutto. Then oh, the um, prosciutto. Have prosciutto is also expensive. It is expensive, but I, I use that Probably. for my cheese and meatboards constantly, so I just keep it around. Yeah. Um. But yeah, and there's. <laughs> And then, you, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You, you put the design mushroom on the outside of the beef, and then you put the pate on that, and then you wrap it all up. And that's that's yeah, that's I've, it. I've seen videos of like Gordon Ramsay like painting his stuff all all yellow with the mustard. Yeah. But yeah, apparently this one just doesn't do that. You don't have pate either. Mm mm. So what is yours? Okay, hold up. I can pull it up. Um, there should already be like a link in chat for people in chat. Um, exclamation mark dish, I think. Uh, I just need to. Uh. Um. So, um. Beef fillet. Yeah. You sear that. I think in the oven. No. You can't. Well, he really? Yeah. Okay. But this, I don't. I, don't I am know not liking oven, this. So I might. Yeah, your toaster oven. The heck. I might just pan sear it. We'll yeah, it. that's that's what I would do. Um. Uh. uh chestnuts. Chestnuts. Oh, chestnut mush oh chestnut the chestnut mushrooms. mushrooms. Okay. Yes. Top those. Olive oil, butter. Thyme and the, the mushrooms in the pan. Uh, uh -huh. White wine, make them real dry because you don't want soggy beef Wellington. Uh, and then it says remove the mushroom. Do, do it. <laughs> it's got that word. I think the it's duck cell. I think it's actually duck cell is how it's pronounced. If you, yeah, duck cell. From the pan to cool and discard the thyme or thyme. Uh, open up two pieces of cling film over large chopping board. 12 slices of prosciutto, blah, 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 blah. Thread half to detail. So it's just a detail prosciutto. And then puff pastry on top of that. And then the eggs to like make the crispy stuff. Yeah. I feel like this is the poor man's beef wellington. Yeah, well, it's got five stars. It I doesn't. Know. It doesn't have five stars. I'm looking at the recipe on right now. It's got four. No, no, it's got five stars. It's got 236 ratings. Four stars. I'm looking at bbcgoodfood.com right now. This is I'm five on. stars. It's got four. No, it's got. No, no, no. You got no. a link in your chat to a page yeah. with four stars. Unless people are review bombing it right now, or you are doing it with all your alt accounts, dude. Yeah, I'm just. Stars. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm not. I'm not playing satisfactory. I'm just making alt accounts. Wait, what if I refresh this page? Will we have four stars then? No, it's still five stars. Does it get different stars versus mobile versus... Because I'm looking at it on my phone. I don't know. Maybe... 
could be <sighs> Cedar American. I don't I have no idea. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, no, it's got four stars. Two hundred thirty. Does yours have two hundred thirty-six ratings? Yeah, five stars. Two hundred thirty-six. What? Uh, I don't know. That's weird. Wait, maybe you said Dirk Sale too many times, and you're actually having an actual stroke right now. It's possible. Duckless. Maybe it's Duckless. Duck Sale. Dick Ellis. Dick. Dicks. Get any butchers twine? Nope. I don't think you put butcher's twine on. You don't. You don't need to. You don't need to hold. What do you? Where would you even put it? You don't put it on the outside of the puff pastry, and you don't want a bunch of string on the inside of your puff pastry. No. I've never. I've never tied up my. Uh, my 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 Wellington. Duckles, not less. <laughs> I don't trust any green chances except maybe from Canada. But... Duckles. Duckles. Duck Ellis. Ellis, Sir Ellis the Duck. That's what it's called. I we we we, we got it. Red Force is an American, it's two five stars. Raven says five stars for me. It's it someone pull it up on your phone. Is on your on phone? my phone. It says two hundred thirty six rating, four out of five stars. I can send a picture of it to That's you. That's so weird. Maybe your is your phone ever like prop? Like maybe it's not optimized. Maybe you have to like. No, look, I'll send you a picture right now. Look, <laughs> you look in the Discord right now. Well, not right now because I haven't posted. I'm posting it. It's sending. Right now. Look at that. That's so weird. Doesn't it? Maybe it's because um, looking at a recipe on your phone on one of these websites is absolute awful. Maybe that's why people like on the phone are like, oh, it sucks. Because, like, food sites are the worst places to be on the internet. It's so bad. Ugh. You don't like hearing about really? how Marianne used to come over every day and they'd have a sweet tea on the porch before okay. they'd go in and then... You look you look for a recipe, you find a stupid blog, there's, like, 25 million paragraphs of, like, a random-ass story about, Oh, this food is so inspiring, I got it from my grandma. She used to... Go like, no one cares, dog. Get to the recipe, okay? And there's, like, <laughs> 5 million pop-ups, like... Sign up for a newsletter. Like, jeez. Yep. Food blog sites are the worst on the internet. Like, yeah, they're think... worse than porn sites. 100%. Worse than porn No, 100%. Sites. Uh, Massively yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> no, okay. Um, I stand by that statement. Anyway. All right. Um, hey, Pekret, well, how was your PG stream? You can tell us about it in the next episode, actually. I, uh, I made it out, so I'm good. Okay. Well, I uh, hope you're good next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.